If you're using spreadsheets to calculate project budgets, create proposals for clients, or create purchase orders, this information can be imported directly into your Noify account. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how these tools work. You'll see that when you're in your plan and track section before you create a budget, there's a button that says copy phases from spreadsheet. If you click this, it'll show you the different columns necessary to import this budget and different phases into the project plan. First, you'll want to put in the description, then the materials budget that you want for that phase, the labor budget, and if necessary, the subcontractor budget. I've laid out some phases here, for example. I generated headers to these columns just to name what we're importing, but you'll just want to copy the final values that you're going to be putting in. Go ahead and copy these, and you can paste them directly into the box, and they'll automatically be formatted correctly from the spreadsheet. Then you click Verify Data. If you want to see the phases before you import them, you can click View List, and you'll see the different phase names and their material, labor, and subcontractor budget. And when I press Import Now, it will automatically put the whole project budget in and generate a phase with the necessary budgeted lines included. If you'd like to turn off the subcontractor budget, it's always an option. Just click where it says Disable Subs on the right, and it'll change it to a standard job phase. I'll just go ahead and save this project plan and budget, and next we'll go over to creating a bid. Normally I would use project plan phases since I have all of my different phases and budgets in here. But for the sake of this example, I'll go ahead and disregard so I can show you how we can import a spreadsheet as a contract value as well. So you see when I'm creating a bid that there's a very similar looking copy from spreadsheet button here. When we're copying contract values, all we'll need for these columns is description and price. I'll pull up my spreadsheet. I laid out two different examples here. This could be really helpful if you have a list of draws that you're going to be invoicing to the client, but I'm going to go with a little bit more detail here and pull in different phase names. Just like before, I'm going to just paste them in and they'll be automatically formatted. I'll verify data, just confirm that everything looks okay, and click import now. Now, it imported all of these phases directly into this contract for me, so I don't have to write them in manually. And, of course, since we're doing this through Noify, it generated a proposal document for me. So that way, if you're using any kind of custom templates or you want to use our e-signature, you could take the data directly from your spreadsheet and send it out through Noify. I'll just go ahead and make this active and go to my plan and track. And now I'm going to show you how we can use spreadsheets for the sake of placing purchase orders. Now, if I had set up this project plan the traditional Noify way by putting in a list of materials to budget, then I could just click order materials and it'll automatically fill out this info. But since I just imported a lump sum budget from my spreadsheet, we actually give you the ability to import a spreadsheet to create a purchase order as well. I'm going to go ahead and click order materials here. And you'll see that there is in my purchase orders form another copy from spreadsheet. The fields here are description, price, quantity, and item number. You don't need an item number, but it's always handy. And I'll go ahead and copy these right from my spreadsheet, just like from before. We don't need to copy the headings, just the values. And I'll paste it in, verify my data, and of course we can look at it before we import it. And when I hit import now, it'll automatically fill out the entire purchase order form for me. This is really handy if you have a, uh, another software that you use for takeoff and it automatically generates a list of materials for you. And since I came in from the project plan, it knows to point it at site prep. And just like the rest of Notify, it generates the document for you. So again, if you're doing your takeoff in another software, you can still get all of the automation through Notify. And back in your project plan, you'll be able to see how much you spent using that purchase order versus the budget that you also imported through your spreadsheet. If you have any other questions about our spreadsheet imports, feel free to reach out to us at support at and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks, and have a nice day.